Hi everybody, Darth Shockwave here. Uh, I'm back for a, another list really, a not top 10 list today, it's a top 5. It's my top 5 Starscream toys. I'm only doing 5 because I don't have as many Starscream toys as I do Optimus Prime. Because everyone knows Optimus Prime's had the most toys out of everybody in Transformers. Uh, I'd say Starscream would be close behind. So I've done my top five Starscream toys. I guess you could say this translates to the rest of the Seekers because 90% of the other Seekers are all the same moulds anyway. So bear in mind, this is my top five list of Starscream toys. Uh, if I don't have it, it, well, sorry, if it's not in this list, then it means I probably don't have it. So because I'm only doing a top five of what I've got. So if you, if you go through this and think, why isn't that one in there? It's probably because I don't actually have the toy. So bear that in mind. Also, feel free to post any video responses off your own top 5 lists or top 10 lists. it would be interesting to see what other people come up with. Anyway, number 5, World's Smallest Transformers Starscream. What can I say about this? Well, it's it's adorable, it's lovely, it's funky, it's nice. Not long of it. It's just a really nice little detail toy. Little duty thing. There we go. Just fun, really. Like it, like all of them. So that's number five. Number four. And now we upscale a little bit. Oh, hopefully you'll stay balanced. There we go. Movie Voyager class Starscream. I know in jet mode it's got a lot of kibble, but ro the robot mode is actually quite nice. Uh, considering how like the toys were pretty much rushed into production because of. Uh, because of how long it takes to design and make a toy, they did, they pulled off quite well. Incidentally enough, uh, has anybody seen the pictures of the new Starscream toy? Uh, I've got a picture of it in Toy for Magazine. There we are. It looks so much better than the uh, older one. But yeah, that's my number four movie class Starscream. Nice little toy. Nice details on him. Obviously that will be the place when I get the newer movie class movie Starscream because that looks fantastic. Number three, Generation One Starscream. It's got to be high up on this because it's yeah it's a fa fan favorite. Everyone loved it. Unfortunately, it's one of those part dependent Transformers, so you lose any parts of it. You're done for really, especially the fists. But yeah, it's a lovely transfer. The jet mode looks very nice. This is the uh, 2003 reissue that came with uh, a DVD and Megatron. And it came with more animated colour, accurate fists, thrusters, feet and tails. Don't know if you can see that in this light. There we go. Also came with uh, already applied stickers on the wings. But that's my number three. Generation 1 Starscream. Number two, classic Starscream. Basically, the Starscream we always wanted. Articulated, nice design, nice to pose. You only have to take the guns off to transform it, which is brilliant. Unfortunately, he can't point his guns forward without the ta without the wings getting in the way. But I do like this toy; it's very nice. Uh, I've only got this one off Starscream. I've got the Skywarp one upstairs. I don't think I'll bother picking up the new Hasbro one because, um, in my opinion, I think it's. <laughs> so I think Starscream's had too much energy on tonight. As I was saying, in my opinion, I think it's a bit of a waste because I think Hasbro should have done the new Starscream that they've done in the Classics line instead of animated colour Starscream or original colour Starscream, whatever they call it. They should have done Sunstorm or Thundercracker. But that's my opinion. Anyway, that's my number two. Classic Starscream. Really nice toy. Can't go wrong with it, really. Now, I'm sure you know what my number one is. It's not being this. And I'll keep you guessing. I mean, what do you think it is? Do you think it's... Uh, Cybertron Starscream? Energon Starscream? Armada Starscream, maybe? Well, you probably know what it is, anyway, so... There you go. Masterpiece Starscream. In particular, the Hasbro version. But this is a, this is actually a complicated case. This is actually the 
Takara version of the Hasbro version, because I did hear that Takara re-released Starscream in white colours. All they did was put a Japanese sticker on the box. But this is, uh, because the one I bought was a Japanese one. And it was in the American box without Japanese stickers on it. Yeah, I do prefer the colour scheme because as much as I like Takara, they did sort of go wrong with the colour scheme on the uh, Masterpiece Starscream. It's a bit greeny, greyish. But yeah, this one's a lot better because it's more accurate colour scheme to what we're used to. I know you never see a white and red F15, but you don't see a black and purple F15 either. Coincidentally enough, I think Skywarp is the best out of all of them, but... And I think many other fans agree with me. I haven't got Thundercracker yet. I might pick him up next month at Momobilia. There we go. That's my number one Starscream. The Starscream we've always wanted. A fantastic looking toy. Brilliant to look at. Brilliant to transform. And a lot of people were quite impressed by it. The only downside is these rudders on the side. They do get in the way of transformation. But they are removable though. It's just a bit of a pain to try and put them back on. There we go, my number one star scream. I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, feel free to post any video responses. To tell, you know, tell everybody your favourite star screams. Uh, do your favourite Optimus Primes, uh, whatever. I was going to do my favourite Star Wars vehicles, but the YouTube said the video was too long, so I'm going to redo that soon. And you should see that soon. So, in the meantime, Shockwave, Darth Shockwave, over and out. Bye.